The Cold War, a geopolitical and ideological struggle between the United States and the Soviet Union, had profound global implications. While many nations aligned themselves with either superpower, Mexico adopted a unique and independent stance during this tumultuous period. This article explores Mexico's role in the Cold War, examining its diplomatic decisions, regional influence, and the impact of global tensions on its domestic policies. Non-aligned diplomacy Mexico's foreign policy during the Cold War was characterized by a commitment to non-alignment. President Lazaro Cardenas set the tone in the 1930s, emphasizing sovereignty and independence in international relations. As the Cold War intensified, Mexico maintained a delicate balance between East and West, refusing to align itself with either superpower bloc. This non-aligned stance allowed Mexico to pursue its interests without succumbing to external pressures. Regional influence in the OAS Mexico played a crucial role in regional affairs through its active involvement in the Organization of American States. While the OAS was often perceived as an instrument of U.S. influence in the Western Hemisphere, Mexico leveraged its position to advocate for the principles of non-intervention and collective security. This diplomatic approach reinforced Mexico's commitment to regional stability while maintaining its independence. The Cuban Missile Crisis and Mexican Neutrality The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 tested Mexico's commitment to neutrality and non-alignment. As tensions escalated between the United States and the Soviet Union over the placement of nuclear missiles in Cuba, Mexican President Adolfo López Mateos called for a peaceful resolution and urged the great powers to avoid confrontation. Mexico's diplomatic intervention demonstrated its dedication to regional peace and the avoidance of direct involvement in superpower conflicts, economic diplomacy, and the GATT. Mexico actively participated in international economic forums, such as the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, as it sought to diversify its economic relationships. By engaging in multilateral trade negotiations, Mexico aimed to reduce economic dependence on any single superpower. This strategy aligned with its broader goal of maintaining economic autonomy amid Cold War power dynamics. The Chiapas Uprising and Internal Challenges While Mexico pursued a non-aligned foreign policy, it faced internal challenges that reflected Cold War dynamics. The Zapatista Uprising in Chiapas in 1994 highlighted issues of social inequality and indigenous rights, echoing broader global concerns about the impact of economic policies associated with neoliberalism. The fallout from the uprising demonstrated the complexities of navigating domestic challenges against the backdrop of global ideological tensions. Conclusion Mexico's approach to the Cold War was marked by a commitment to non-alignment, regional stability, and economic autonomy. By steering clear of superpower alliances, Mexico retained its sovereignty and pursued a foreign policy that reflected its unique position in Latin America. As the Cold War era unfolded, Mexico's ability to navigate global tensions while addressing internal challenges underscored the complexity of its role on the world stage. The legacy of Mexico's Cold War diplomacy continues to shape its approach to international relations in the 21st century.